guys, welcome back to the channel, Dora and Chris. My name is Nathan Nice. For those of you who are new to the channel or who just happen to stumble across this video, and I'm the founder and CEO of Zora of Increase Ministries, that is DOI Ministries. And here on this channel, I help you guys to increase in your faith and relationship with God in Christ through Bible studies, book reviews, discussions, and more. And I do that by posting twice a week, every Wednesday and Saturday, and occasionally on Tuesdays. So if you have not done so already, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, to click the bell to stay notified of when I post a new video, to like this video, and to share this video on your social media platforms with a family member and or with a friend. And as the title says, above or below, however you are watching this, this is going to be sort of my team haul part two, technically part three, because I didn't really share part two with you all um so yeah <laughs> so you guys know from the first one that i did with my cozy um desk accessories and organization video that i partnered with timo and i had got 50 dollars to spend and i spent it on some things and so second round they also gave me 50 dollars to spend now i did already previously put an order in um with my own money and i did get that stuff in so you'll see that stuff as i actually share my um desk organization like my desk tour but i'm not going to talk about those things because honestly i noticed that purchasing certain things which is not the best <laughs> um i did purchase a one of those heart-shaped mugs um but my mug came completely broken i had ordered two of these um like exacto knife thingies this one came without a blade in it um my other one came with the blade yeah this one came with the blade but the other one did not and so you know you gotta pick and choose it's 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 you know interesting but um just so you know those who don't know what timu is i will run through what it is about with you all really quickly so timu is an online marketplace that connects consumers with sellers that are around the world um and their main goal is to give you great quality products at affordable prices and i have really been enjoying timu thus far um from the first round of things as well as from my own order that i did and i will continue to order from timu but i will most likely be ordering stationery and little knickknacks from my desk rather than um like mugs and stuff only because my first experience was not the best um my mug completely came shattered and they do not resend out the product they basically refund you your money and so yeah i'll just stick to using you know other places to get my stuff like that but um this time around i also got 50 dollars, like i said and i got everything pulled up on my phone i also got 50 dollars to spend and i got 10 items total one two three four five six seven eight nine yes 10 items and most of them were writing utensils things for school things for my desk and so um yeah we're gonna go through so the first thing i have to show you all is this um multi usage vacuum desktop cleaner it looks like that um it comes in multiple colors this retailed for four dollars and nine cents um and let me pull it up to give you guys some more information on it but it's the compact keyboard and vacuum cleaner combo it starts at three dollars and 88 cents but it can go up they also have it in a dual pack you can get it in pink you can get it in green you can get it in blue you can get it in light blue and then i have the white if you want the dual pack it comes with the green and a light blue but um that is the light blue in the picture but i have the white one where is it <laughs> i have the white one and um yeah so i'm gonna actually open this up i did in my unboxing i'm not sure if you guys would have seen that i did a quick little almost a short video um i put it on instagram tiktok and um here on youtube but um here is what it is it was a hassle to actually take this off it took me a minute um but you have to like hold it and then pop off the top yeah it, it's, it's too difficult for me to even do so i will say taking off this to put batteries in was a hassle but um it is very powerful more powerful than i thought it would be um and it does a great job at cleaning things you can unscrew this portion to um simply clean out if like you can see little crumbs and stuff so it's not a lot in here probably not picking up on camera but just little bits and dust bits of dust that i wanted to see if it would work um so you can do that and just so you can hear how powerful it is So it's a light suction um this part suctions up and you use the brushes to kind of like clean 
Um, I have tried this on my keyboard. It works great. I've tried it on my desk, specifically on top of my desk mat. It has worked amazingly well. And so I think that this was a great product to purchase. Um, I may even get one for my son so he could have it when school starts for him when he is using uh, his pencils and erasing, things like that, because this is going to be a lifesaver. And um, I'm glad that it does come like you can just change the batteries. It takes two AA batteries. And so I've been enjoying this so far as I've had it. So um, yeah, and the box is here. I'm actually going to get rid of the box. I don't need the box, but um, it comes with instructions and it comes with this little brush cleaner. I'm assuming it's a brush cleaner, not really sure, but I'm gonna get rid of mine my packaging and just stick it somewhere over here so that it's always near my desk so um again i paid four dollars and nine cents for mine the next thing i got is what they call the um mini flip top desktop trash can and it starts at 227 you can get it in three colors you can get it in green blue or pink i got the pink one i saw that they had so many stinking cute um desktop garbage cans and i really wanted one for my table because i have a, a garbage can like a small one i swapped out my big one for the small one my mom has so we switched garbage cans and i have one behind my door but i wanted one specifically at the desk because it's kind of like when you have receipts or little pieces of papers and knickknacks you don't always want to have to get up and um so i got this one you can put garbage bags if you want to i literally just threw some wipes in there just um a couple of you know earlier but uh yeah it is so cute it's a flip top just pop it in there and um yeah you can put little baggies if you can get them i would say get the small ones that you find at like dollar tree or whatever and do that but specifically for this one i paid a total of 249 for this one so for the pink one i paid 249 you can decorate it if you're all into that i just wanted something that was basic and cute they didn't have any light purples they had a lot of grays i didn't want that so i just went with the pink since i have pops of pink and rose gold on my desk so um we have that one which has been very useful thus far <laughs> for me to have and i think everything else moving forward is strictly stationary products so we have this set of washi tape i enjoy washi tape washi tape to me is super super fun and i just liked this pattern a lot um this was considered the floral pattern washi tape set and um it is currently out of stock on the site so i can't even find much about it but it comes with let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine nine sets of washi tape um if i could just show you that photo right there that's what it looks like there's nine sets um nine rows excuse me nine rows of washi tape and it is absolutely stunning and i just i liked the colors it was giving me summery spring uh kind of you know colors and i just i really liked it and so i'm getting back into washi tape because i do have obviously my planner and i love washi tape so i wanted to get this one sorry guys and this retailed let's pull that up for four dollars and 99 cents so five dollars for nine washi tapes is not bad because typically you're paying about five dollars for one washi tape if you go to like michael's or hobby lobby or even amazon or something like that so these are great um and these are the paper style washi tapes they're not the washi tape that comes off plasticky which i like and they do have gold foiling on them they're very girly and pretty so i knew that i wanted these right off the jump and so i snagged them up these are called the sweet memory washi tapes yeah that so i got that specifically from planners if i'm writing like written out notes or whatever the case may be i just i like washi tape all right so moving on moving on moving on the next thing that i have for you all is i'm sorry i got everything pulled up on the phone so that i'm giving you guys the right information um so the next thing i got is the three layer large capacity pencil case and i specifically got mines in the purple they have it in black they have it in dark blue they have it in matcha green they have it in glacier blue pink yellow black and white grid with pink and then they also have it in gray like a heather gray with um black lining on it and so i did go ahead and get the lavender of course uh all the purple um y'all know all my friends cases are pretty much purple uh lavender however you call it i like them that color um this i paid 4.99 for and so this is it says special on it and so when you unzip the first side um the front you get your little pencil holders or pen holders the little loops to stick them in which is going to be great on the back end you have four flaps or four pockets so two are mesh if i'm not mistaken 
yeah so you have two mesh pockets here and then two of these regular pockets here and then obviously the center portion is just a blank space to put everything in so i'm glad i got this because i do re i did realize i am going to need a total of two pencil cases for school because i will be having um a set of highlighters specifically for school that will not be used anywhere else and i you know i have sticky notes that i want to use washi tapes and things like that so two pencil cases are definitely needed for me sadly um so we have this pencil case which i really really like okay so that is that um moving on i think we're now moving into all of the writing utensils that i got so i'm gonna run through these two these three sets first and then show you the other two because i got two of the same things um so i did get two different sets of pencils um mechanical pencils to write with so i guess we'll go with um this set here right there's one missing okay so this set is the four piece mechanical pencil set um it's supposed to come with a 0 0.5 and 0 0.7 pencil so you should have two of each however all of mine say 0 0.7 lead which is fine for me it doesn't bother me um and i think if i'm not mistaken i paid 1.99 let me double check it though Yes, I paid $1.99 for a set of four, um, and they're stinking cute, kawaii styled. Um, so here's a pink one with a little bunny on it and some strawberries. Here is the, this is like a mix of pink and purple. It's another bunny, but she has like macarons and ice cream. The purple one is a bear, and the blue one is, I don't even know, it's supposed to be a cat? I think that's a cat. <laughs> But um, yeah, I got these and they are clips here and then the erasers all on top. So you can just buy the refillable um, lead uh, as long as it's a 0 0.7. 0 0.7 and these are from the brand Lantu. I think the brand is called Lantu. So yeah, pencils, definitely one of these to have again. The next set I got are also from Lantu. These were 179. And I'm not sure if these were supposed to be the same idea of having. No, okay. So I did just order the 0.7 millimeters. You can get them in the 0.7 or the 0.5. I got them in the 0.7 millimeter um, Lantu. And uh, they kind of have that same kind of style. These are just cute cartoon blueprint mechanical pencils. So at the top, you have your erasers and the colors of the pencil. And um, then you have the four colors. So here is the sort of like peachy orange. And on here, it's a couple of different animals. You have the green one, which looks like a little mouse. You have the blue one, which also looks like a mouse. And then you have the pink one. So more mechanical pencils just to have for my size um i don't really typically write with pencils but i felt like i might want to write with pencils this year around um so moving forward i had got a 10 piece set of matte gel pencils um in the 0.5 needle and these honestly reminded me of the muji pens i think that's what they call muji pens there's a particular brand of pens i'll put it on the screen that i see a lot of people writing with and i really wanted to get my hands on those but these are what they look like but i got these sets in um just straight blue ink because i have a ton of black ink pens um so i paid how much did i pay for these let's make sure we give in the right details right details y'all so for these i paid 179 for the blue set um, you can get them in the black or the red. I got them specifically in the blue because I felt like the blue would just work better. And so, um, yeah, they're just gel ink pens. Have I tried any of these pens and pencils out? Not yet. I will towards the end. I'll do like a little snippet of me writing with one of each of these. But um, we have these. And then I had got two sets of these. I think... I don't even remember how many of these come in here. So let's see. I paid $4.99 for each of these, I believe. Yes, and these are a six-piece series set. Um, 
their six piece color colorful retractable gel ink pens um all in 0.5 millimeter and they are fine tips so i had got the pink set and the purple set so the pink set is called the tao yao she how cute i don't y'all i'm probably butchering the name i don't know but um they are all gel ink pens um they are from a factory in china um so yeah made in china super super cute i did cut off the packaging in my unboxing but they all come with a little clear case which i think is so darn cute that they come like this but let's do a quick walk through of the pins and the pins are really cute um so you have this like basic pin here and what i like about all the pins um they come with little caps on them whether they're red black clear or white they come with caps to protect the ink from leaking out i like that um but we have this one and these are from the company shans they all say shans on them this is specifically the s642 pen we have this one this is the shans s709 um and this one is just giving anime vibes all the way like cute kawaii anime girl love it if you guys don't know i am an anime lover i talk i think i talk about it a lot on my channel that i like anime um we have this one which i really like the little bow on this pin it is so stinking cute you do have to take the cap off so it's not like a push one um but yeah this is what that one looks like and this is the s710 then we have another one of those ones that you pull off this one is the s641 s641 um and it's a cute pin if i could just get it off like that i will say when these pins did arrive i did have to like push or screw some of them in because they were a little loose which is really not a problem um and then we got these two big ones um this one is the s706 and it just has like those cartoony bunny pictures from like my other pens that I have. And then this one just is just a uh, Shan's Classics 0.5. And again, like I said, they all have the little tips to keep your ink from leaking. leaking. And so we have the pink set, which I paid $4.99 for. Really, really like it. And then the purple set looks like this. Um, you also can get it in blue, green, yellow. Let me just make sure I'm giving the right colors. You can get the yellow, the blue, the fog blue, green, and yeah. So they're about $5. And you get six pins, six gel pins in each. And so this is the purple set. So we have this basic kind of pin here. It looks like the Mirandi ones. Um, I think that's what they call Mirandi gel pins that are on Amazon. You can look those up. That's what these look like. Um, so you have that one. You have, again, the one with the bow on it. We love it. So cute. This is the purple version, though. You have this, again, anime girl looking one, but in purple. And I'm assuming you can just order these if you go and find the brand Shans. Um... So if I really like the pens, I will just get those like regular ones. Um, this one has like a clip kind of thing on it. Um, and it's a Shans. This one just has like, is that a cupcake tea? I don't even know what it is, but it's so cute. Um, and then here's another one of those clip ones. This one just has math problems all over it. <laughs> and again, like I said, they all come with the cover ups on them to protect your ink. And this is the purple one that looks like the pink one. So some of them will look similar, some of them won't. Um, it just really depends. And so that's that one in the purple. And I think the last thing I got, the last thing I got, I can't really show. Um, I'll throw an image here, I guess. Put the image up here. Um, or I'll show it towards the end of the video. But that's the image. It is called the... Uh, one piece desktop computerizer with drawer storage um this one i paid 20 something dollars i think let me see no i paid 18.49 for it. it was 18.49 um so i have gripes about this because i like it it's really pretty it's really cute it was easy to assemble um there were no instructions which 
she should have given me instructions. I had to look at the pictures and figure things out. However, it is like a very thick styrofoam. It is not wood the way I thought that it was going to look. Um, because in the picture, it looks like white wood. This is a very, very thick styrofoam is what this is. Um, and it's like almost chalky. So I had to really like wipe it down. Even if, even though I wiped it down twice, it's still like chalky. So yeah, um, it kind of looks flimsy. I did stick something underneath just so that my monitor does not fall through. Um, and you'll see because I don't know, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me being paranoid and me not wanting this thing to fall. But, um, yeah, I probably could actually stick this underneath because there is a piece. Yes, that's what I'm going to do. But, um, yeah, I'm going to do a writing test quickly on some of these pens. Let's just get a piece of paper. So I got a regular piece of paper off of my little sticky pad thing. Um, and we'll start with these moldy style pencils. I mean pens. So they come like this. They come with the little white caps on them like I said. Um, which is easy to take off. You can put it back on if you want. Here is what the tip looks like. But let's see. Oh. Oh. Yeah, these are really nice. Okay, they write nice. Granted, I'm writing on top of my laptop, so... But yeah, these are nice. Nice pens. Nice, nice pens. Um, I'm a blue ink kind of girl. That's just what I prefer, honestly. So I'm going to take out two of these to have one hand. Stick it there. So the rest of these, I'm going to actually stick inside of... My, I have a storage bin with all of my like extra pens and pencils and stuff like that. So that's where these are going to go um, in the blue set that I have. Um, you know, the pencils look like this. You squeeze it out. But it's just a regular pencil. Hello. I mean, I don't really. It doesn't bother me with them. I'm going to use a, this big one, the pink one. Yeah, like, I mean, the lead is, lead is lead to me. It doesn't really bother me, really, honestly, because I'm not a pencil person. So, yeah, but I am going to take out the purple sets, the purple colors. We just are. Purple and pink, I'll take out. So I'm taking these two out, and these will go up. Um, let's try these. And then I'll do a flip through, not a flip through, but a quick walkthrough of my other one. I don't really want to take off these, but we have to. So this is the purple set that I'm trying. So, oh, that's a nice, nice fine point there. And the, um, like I said, I'm taking off all the little balls to them. And these are all black ink, if I did not mention. They're black inks, black ink pens. Um, okay, can I actually stick these back on? That is the question. Because I want to try to keep them as like fresh as possible. Okay. That one. I don't have the one for this. Oh, here it is. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick these back on. Once I take them off, because we just don't want any accidents. I'm um, trying out the bow one. Super cute. These didn't come with it, so. Yeah, these all write really nice, like really seamless. That one kind of leaked slightly, but that, I think that was my problem for doing that. So let me just get a piece of tissue. Yeah, we're just going to keep it off. And luckily for the garbage can, I could just throw it in the garbage. Um, the Mirandi. Looking one. Hello. Yeah, these are definitely all gel ink. So if you're not a gel ink kind of person, you might not want to get these. 
but yeah these all write well i'm not even gonna um try the pink set because i'm pretty sure they write the same way um so that is the purple one um and i don't think i mentioned that the purple one is called the mushan yanzi also made in china but um I am going to try to like tape it back so that we can keep the packaging. But um, yeah, that's that. So what I'm going to do now is show you guys my setup of the monitor stand quickly. Okay, guys. So pay my does no mind. Um, it is looking a little messy right now. We just got things everywhere. It's all right. Receipts and stuff like that. My soda, pills, everything. But here is um that monitor stand. And it is very nice. Um, The drawers and everything were like easy. If I didn't want the drawers, you could take the drawers out and just have like an empty box or whatever the case may be. Um, But it is a styrofoam. Like I can literally put a dent in that. See, it's styrofoam. It's not wood. And that's what I thought that this was. I thought it was wood, Um, but it's not. But um, here you have the little pencil holders here. You also have them on this side, but my monitor is a little big. And so, yeah, um, you have that drawer. And so what I did underneath to make sure that this holds up my monitor correctly, um, I stuck some... Let me see what happens if I move these. Okay, so I stuck these thermal um, eyeglass cases that I had laying around right underneath where the monitor kind of is and also on this side. Um... Yeah, like this one is good where it's at. Probably need to stick another one over here. Let me see. Yeah, no, I have to stick this one here. Because you can feel like where it's tight and where it's not tight. So I kind of like stick it there. And let's probably stick it back some. Yeah. And then I just have like some, you know, cute accessories and stuff here. I could probably put my keyboard under here. But I'm, I'm just terrified that this might honestly collapse. So I'm just going to leave my keyboards there um for just personal safety reasons and over here i keep my mouses this goes to my laptop um and then that one back th this goes to my laptop and my mac which this is a mac mini here and then that purple one there goes to this computer but um yeah so that is how that one looks um it's cute but it's styrofoam so not what i really honestly expected so yeah that is it for my Timu haul part two slash three um <laughs> uh i did get some other things like i said which i probably could have showed you now but i'll show you later on um i got a document holder which has been amazing for me to use i've got two shelves here um i feel like i got more stuff but i can't think of it because i can't oh i got these two bins down here for storage so yeah um that is it for this video um there are some things i do want to haul but I'll probably do a separate like video on that. This is sliding out the way. Let's keep you there. Cool. Um, but that is it for this video. So I'm gonna go and catch you guys soon for my completed desk tour. Um, really soon now that I got everything in that needed to be in. I just need to finish fixing up the bottom portion of my desk. Because the desk is pretty much set up on the bottom. It's just a matter of making sure everything is in its correct place. But I'm gonna go, it is late, I'm tired, exhausted, and um, I just wanna go rest. My son is gone for the weekend, so just wanna go rest um, and chill out. So I'm gonna go, and I'll catch you all in the next video. If you made it to the end of this video, put up this purple heart here because everything pretty much is lavender because we know I love lavender. I mean, I got a lavender thingy on my head, lavender and mint green hoodie. So yeah, I'm gonna go and um, whew, I'm sorry guys, I'm tired. Um, and I have seen all of you guys' like requests for like college, the college videos and the what's in my bag, as well as um, someone asked me if I was still gonna do more movie vlogs. So I'm gonna work on doing two faith-based movies a month, um, every other weekend to just take my time and watch those and vlog myself watching those. There are some movies I've already seen that I'm probably going to rewatch. Um and just share them with you all but yeah i'm gonna go post up the purple heart and i'll see you guys in the next video bye